Hey everybody, it's Yen. Uh, remember a month ago when I... <laughs> when I released Bunny's, uh, English Native Deep Vocal, uh, voice bank, and I was like, I'm gonna make tutorials for this soon, and that... <laughs> Sorry about the wait. I don't really have an excuse except for, um, the world is on fire right now. Literally, in some places. And <laughs> so basically, I'm making the usage tutorial first, and I will be posting it first because I want people to know how to use the bank that I made. <laughs> uh, it, because there's a lot of there's a lot of convoluted stuff going on in the back end, and you don't need to know about any of that unless you are also planning to convert a VCCB bank to. Deep vocal. Maybe you just want to use Bunny, or if somebody else were to do this, you'd want to use their bank. This is how you do that. So, uh, this is a VSQX Untuned that I made from the MIDI for Digital Girl by Kira. And so I'm basically just gonna go through and walk you through how to put in lyrics and stuff with Bunny's, uh, bank. So the main thing here is just that the phonemes are the same as they are in VCCV. If you're unfamiliar with that, I'll link CZ's tutorial in the description. The other thing is, uh, the way deep vocal works, all of the crossfade, all of the... It's all handled in the back, so all you need to do is type in your CV phonemes and your VC endings and possible consonant transitions, but I'll get to that. So, for a VC ending, the easiest way thing to do is to just shorten the note by two little little segments here. You'll notice my quantize and length settings here. Uh, and then just draw it in. The NVCs are abbreviated as such. So in deep vocal, when you want to force a rest, like if I, if I switch to tuning mode here, and I switch to the pitch, you'll notice that the pitch carries over and if I switch to the phoneme editing, you'll notice that the, the VCs and CVs carry over even though the notes don't stretch into that zone. And that's because deep vocal works kind of like Vocaloid in that if the notes are too close together, it won't notice the rest. And if you want to force a rest uh, manually, you just make a note and you type in zero. And it does that, which kind of contrasts a little bit and makes things not work quite as well with the VCCV phonemes, but I'll, I'll cover that in a second. <laughs> basically, the zero note works similar to the silence phoneme in Vocaloid, is basically why I'm saying- Deep Vocal is generic Vocaloid. This is the generic store brand Vocaloid that you get for a lot cheaper. <laughs> that's what that's what this program is. If you're used to Vocaloid, you practically already know how to use Deep Vocal. The only thing that makes it complicated is in English with these NVCs because you don't have the luxury of a user dictionary. There's a there's a dictionary feature, but I can't entirely get it to work the way I want it to and experimenting. Experimenting has happened. Experimenting is continuing to happen. Now, this is the word perfection. In order to make the, the CC, there's a few different ways to do it. So if I wanted to make the T here, I could put a T without a dash. This is different than the NVC. And then I could put a K before it. Does that make sense? And it should... My name is Perfecto. And you can kind of hear how that sounded kind of terrible. But the reason for this is uh, Deep Vocal doesn't actually have a way to configure uh, consonant consonant transitions at this point in time. Uh, and so this is the only way you can do it is by basically by configuring an isolated consonant and then hoping for the best. And you can kind of edit it like you can kind of tweak it in the in the, the the phoneme settings to make it work better. Now we're going to the next uh, note, and this is where I'm gonna show you how to make the CCVs. Because obviously if you know anything about VCCV, you know that the CCVs are separated, and this is because English is fucking bonkers. Um, <laughs> and so there's just too many, man. Like, like, people complain about VCCV being too big, it would easily be 
twice or three times the size if it included all of the CCVs and VCCs, etc. So basically, to make the word from, you're gonna do the same thing we did, we're, we've been doing for these VCs, but you're gonna make a note at the beginning that's FR, and then you're just gonna have the vowel. I'll cover this in the configuration tutorial if you're curious as to how that works, but if you're not curious as to how that works, don't worry about it, it just works. The other thing I wanted to talk about is how VCCV has um, certain VC endings sort of act as vowels or in a, uh, a sort of VCC transitional capacity. And this can be carried over into Deepocal, and I have done that with uh, Bunny's Bank. So you'll notice that I put the 0R in here, and that will add the R automatically. The other thing I want to talk about is those transitional consonants that I mentioned earlier. These are all voiced consonants. They'll be listed on the screen, hopefully. Uh, and they are written in the sort of double letter style that they're written in the original VCCV list. The original VCCV list has these arranged in a way so that uh, you can insert the Minu Tau in places and it, it'll just kind of crossfade and work. Obviously, it's more complicated than that in the back end of Deep Vocal, but all you need to know right now is for these letters, if you want to make a, a smooth transition between that consonant and another consonant, you double it, so like this is gonna be two M's, and then that'll simulate the... You will actually have a CC transition between M and P. And you can do the same thing for N, L, some other things, I don't know. I come from the net inside your personal computer. So, yeah, it, it really is that simple to put in the English lyrics in deep vocal. All you need to do is note the VCCV phonemes, and you put the, the, the extra notes in, in places where you need to, and Deep Vocal takes care of the crossfade and all of that in the background. So if we want to listen to everything that we've just done... Hello, nice to meet you. My name is Perfection. I come from the net inside your personal computer. That's it. That's really all there is to it. Um... Quick note, and I'm just going to go over here and I'm going to draw this out. Uh, the VVs for the diphthongs, so like if I went, I, I, so like you would do this if like, basically, it should sound like I, I, if you play these notes, but as you can hear, uh. yeah, there's, there's a bit of an issue with how deep vocal handles crossfade, and you might think, well, it's because it's the same vowel, but if I do this with ow, you, you notice how it kind of does the same thing, and this is because of how deep vocal handles the crossfade between vowels, and I cannot for the life of me figure out a way to fix it. If you know how to stop that from happening, please enlighten us in the comments below. Uh, the only way I can think of to actually, like, get around this is to go into the phoneme parameter and to make this purple section really big. Ah. And that kind of makes it work. Ah. It's not amazing, I, and I can't get around this, but that's like the one glitch that I encountered that I couldn't really fix. Y you can fake- if you know how to fake diphthongs already, you can just fake the diphthong and it'll sound better. Uh, and you can try that if you want. But yeah, that's basically the usage tutorial. And then you just you just go into pitch and you draw your pitch bends and whatever else. And it would turn out fine. So yeah, that's the usage tutorial. Uh, it's really simple and straightforward, which if you're used to a Tao, might be a foreign concept. <laughs> but um... Honestly, that's the only reason why I even started bothering with this, is just because you can spend less time on the lyric entry and the crossfading and make sh and more time on the tuning and the part of making a cover that's actually fun. Uh, so yeah, I'll see you in the next tutorial. Hopefully it won't be a month. <laughs> Thanks for watching.